All right, so we got Muster, part of the top four, versus Rai with the Galahad Sweetness. <laughs> Let us see how far the scooter can take them. Yes. Is this a semi? Yeah, it's top four. Hey, Silence Joker. Uh, is this re? Uh, here, above, playing Galahad. Rai playing above with Galad. <laughs> so currently Rai is on Galahad versus Muster, who's also been top four. Hopefully he ends up hanging into it. <laughs> Good luck, Rai. Your JTF fam supports you. <laughs> I'll make sure let him know that. So Rai right now is currently on Galahad. Hopefully hitting to the right. I oh, probably there's a cool telltale sign that um, sometimes a Galahad player had probably not hit into the Galahad piece that they need. That they need is when they send back the. Um, I'm not playing against them, by the way. <laughs> I'm casting an event. Um, it's when they send back their Gansalot back to the deck, so then it could allow them to hopefully hit into the Galad on their turn with riding. But it's not. It doesn't mean that they don't. What did he end up soul charging? By the way, he soul charged the Galad. Oh, that is the worst. Actual worst. So I guess you can rest here to discard maybe the dual axe or the Wallfall. There's a lot of options that you can go off with. There's a lot of options here. I think you you rest the Gojo to discard like the Waterfall if you're not riding it. Because Waterfall is a really good ride though. Waterfall is an extremely good ride. Yeah, he gets rid of the Dulax here. It's way better. I probably commit the bar here so you don't end up overdrawing. He doesn't have a way to get rid of it anyway. You can end up burning a card. So this is the things I've been very worried about here. It's like in game sets like this, you don't want to end up burning cards against the matchup that can't even retire anyway. He's already on a grade two turn. He's already on his grade two turn. He doesn't play Blast of the Dark and you should be fine. I guess he doesn't want to like overcommit to the board, I guess, but he can end up like accidentally burning a card. He's on eight right now. If he ends up hitting like two extra damage or taking two extra damage this turn, uh, because of hitting like a crit, getting crit on by Galahad, um, he can end up burning cards, like burning PGs and stuff. So this is gonna be very, very, very risky. Yep. Knight of Quests. Yeah. So it, this is gonna do uh, four damage this turn. So, hmm. If he ends up hitting to like a double draw, a double draw or something, it'll be in a lot of trouble. Oh god, is heal going off and putting his point to 4 as well? Rai is on fire right now. But it's not over yet. It is not over for a second. Yeah, this is, this is scary. How many cards does he have done? 9? Yeah, he burned the card. So this is what I was talking about. Like, you, you don't... It's not bad to commit cards to the board. It could have been literally anything else though. And still, like, burning a card is not what you want to do in any form of matchup. Because later on, it could come back to buy them that he probably needed, like, a an extra attacker or an extra booster to hit for an extra, you know, 1k of power or something. Or basically, to give him an extra column. Just, like, literally a little oomph that he needs to give an extra push here. Yeah, at least it was a Gojo, not a PG. Yeah, exactly. It's fine, though. It is fine, it is fine. Okay, so he's he's not going the blockade route. He is more than sitting on waterfall. But waterfall is an excellent ride though. I wonder why you would set him as a heal. Where dual axe is something you don't want to ride. So having him as a heal is actually not you know not bad.
I guess you put down both of the bars here. I might have gotten rid of the booster personally, but that's just me. Yeah, I might have gotten rid of the booster. So you could have cleared almost his whole board. Yeah, I don't know. Because this is not going to do anything anyway. Because he could have gotten like two free attacks off of it. He, I mean, it came up to the same damage, but then it would have been one less boost to here. Because potentially this still can attack. This still can end up hitting for 21 every single time still. In this column. Him not getting rid of the Knight of Quests might come back to hurt him a little bit. In this instance, he might not need the Galahad anymore. The Galahad skill anymore, unless to poke a, poke a PG out of the hand. But he could probably call the Blast Blade, get rid of the Berserk Dragon, and try to go all out. Maybe see if he hits into like an offensive trigger or something. Sure. That's a good interceptor. It's a good interceptor as well. So I guess you hit for 9, you attack Vanguard for 21 to see if you can kick out the game. And if you hit any triggers or no triggers, you can kind of decide whether or not you want to get rid of the waterfall or you want to keep it up for, uh, or leave it up for your opponent to make him get rid of regards. I think him doing this now is better. Of course, it allows him to draw a couple cards, but you've seen like three heals or two heals so far. So he needs to heal to four. To four or to three to be able to save himself this turn. And this, that ain't, like, this here on board is not it, Chief. <laughs> that is not it. So the best play he could probably make is probably have Berserk Dragon again. Get rid of the booster, for the love of God. I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> In all honesty, it doesn't matter anymore. Its damage is done. Yeah, him running into bar is actually pretty bad. You don't want to get rid of Waterfall because then it just creates bad dynamic for you. He needs to dig into PGs. Or an Interceptor. So he has two Interceptors now. So you can call... Really? Okay. You call... Nahalam though. What? But you call Nahalam. Nahalam is 18. You keep the Overlord in hand. You're not healing infinitely. Mm. Risky play. Let's see if it pays off. Bold strategy. Let's see. Uh, let's see if it pays off. Okay. Then he hits for 18. And there's still one coming for 21. Okay, so this forces a PG or kills him. Let's see if it at least forces a PG out. If he does happen to have a blaster blade, he gets free attacks here. He can go for the rear guard, but I think going for the vanguard is better. Yeah, there was a PG in the hand. There was a perfect guard in the hand, unfortunately. Wow, we sent back a heal back to the deck again. Seven co 17 cards left in there. The stack is done exactly the same. Using the skill of Blast Lake, getting rid of the Berserk Dragon. If he kept up the Nihalum, I mean, it might have not really mattered much, but really, he doesn't have a booster in his hand? The rest of the hand are PGs? The rest of the hand is probably PGs, then? I guess he, it doesn't matter to him. He's more or less trying to force PGs out for the turn. So what's, what's the rest of the hand then? Wow. Wild. Heal trigger. Mirakaru Hiryu. Crazy. Okay. So in this scenario, you want to just call on Nihalems and swing. You just want to call on Nihalems and swing and just hope to orange Jesus you get there. If there's like three PGs in his hand, that's game anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There's no more heals to survive with, so... <gasps> what? 
What could he have had in his hand? What muster was able to muster a victory here using his namesake? Holy moly!